welcome back to another video guys today i'm not doing anything very exciting going to the bakery going for a little spin round nothing nothing overly exciting but i just thought i'd put the camera on see if anything interesting happens which i doubt and i'm also testing my new memory card today because i've been having some gopro issues unfortunately when i just set off then one of the files was not working properly so I'm not 100% sure if this will actually uh, come out right but what a pain in the ass GoPros they seem to work right up until they're out of warranty and it's almost like the design just to break that would not surprise me I don't think I'll buy another anyway I have the Hero 4 Silver because I wanted the little screen on the back which I don't actually even bother using anymore so I wish I'd got the black one. Um, I've also got a little Hero Session as well. And that so far has been absolutely perfect, but for the few times when the files have been corrupt on the Hero 4, I've tried a fresh memory card. I borrowed a memory, a smaller memory card, um, that I just had spare. And that seemed to work, so I've bought a brand new one. I don't know if I should have before matted it on my computer before I put it in the uh, before I put it in the GoPro or not, but hopefully it'll just work and be the end of my problems. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on the video or not, but all the marks along the road there you can possibly see. Just here. They are all off the boat top caravan trailers. Well, not trailers, I suppose, but caravans, um, horse drawn caravans from when the travelling community come here and went to go to the uh, Applewick Horse Fair. They leave lots and lots of marks on the road for quite a while after. It's quite windy out today, I didn't realise it was this windy. It's blown about all over the place. Even though the trees don't look like they're moving that much. Peculiar. Mm, lovely. Shit all over the road. I should probably go for some fuel as well actually, but... Yeah. Well yeah, better rides better than running out I suppose, isn't it? Not too bad though, considering I've not exactly been riding like an eco warrior. I don't know, just clicked over to 135 miles and I've got a quarter of a tank left. Oh, alright. Well, you'll be quicker. Thank you. Thank you. Just put £15 in, I think that's pretty well full but not right up to the, uh, the very very brim. I've not actually brimmed this bike yet to see what it'll take, I think it'll be about £20 from pretty empty, roughly. That's the bakery stop done. Now I just want to quickly go somewhere and get a little picture. And we'll head back. You are welcome. They seemed happy. Nice to get a good big wave. 
that's one thing I'm yet to do is meet up with someone like random at a bike stop and end up just like sort of tagging along for a ride with them I did randomly follow someone once they probably thought I was stalking them when I was on my 125 there was another 125 exactly the same as mine in front and I thought oh, I said it I'll just follow him for a bit he probably thought yeah who's this creep behind me Oh, it's nice not to have to get a run up for this hill anymore. <laughs> On 125 I used to have to get a little bit of a run up at the bottom to make it safely up to the top. But on this there's just no need. Oh, it's lovely. Got the power to be able to actually power up things. It's like magic when you've been on a 125 for so long, it is anyway. I don't suppose it was even that long, I've known lads who've been on them since they were 17 and done the test at 21 and they've been on a 125 for two years then they've been stuck to a I don't suppose it's stuck to because there's still there's still some quite nice A2 bikes around but lads that have been stuck on A2 bikes for two years as well and then they finally get the test I bet they don't see quite as much of a, a difference between an A2 bike and a full A depending on what the full A bike is they go for of course going from like 40 horsepower if you went up to like a BMW S1000 hour then yeah obviously you're gonna notice but if you just keep it sensible you're uh, you're gonna notice quite a bit of difference between a 125 and say something like this like more than just over 10 times the power But these roads would be so much better if there was no element of sheep running out in front of you from behind some of these bushes. It's worse when you've got a lamb on one side, especially a fairly fresh lamb, fairly young, and the mother on the other side, and they both want to run for it, and in the end one of them just end up does right in front of you. I've had quite a few close calls from them doing that actually. doesn't look like anybody's on the top of our hill either so we might only get some good uninterrupted views today and possibly a picture or two this was another hill I used to have to have a run up for I used to, be, I used to have to be going absolutely flat out on the 125 and I'd still only be doing about 60 when I got to the uh, we're doing 60 at the bottom, sorry, and still only been doing about 15 or 20 when I got to the top. I've got to take it easy on this bike because the sheep were jumping out in front of you. I don't know what it is, they seem to blend in so well, even though they're white, or mostly white, and the background is all green or that way it's like just like sky and stuff. I don't know what it is about them, they just seem to blend in so well. First time I come on here was quite a hairy moment. I'd, for some reason, I just completely forgot how much heavier this was than the 125. Came on here like I was on the 125 and nearly dropped the bloody thing. Whatever you suck, you in. Now you've got to get back off. <laughs> A bit of clutch control is all it takes, and good balance of course. Don't jump out! For sake. Well this will be good for my fuel consumption anyway. Being barely above idle for all this way down.
perhaps not brilliant for excitement and video footage, but right, we'll head back, stop at the co op, get something for my tea. Hmm, what do I fancy? A steak, perhaps. Oh, bump. Oh, I love that downshift. Pop, 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 pop. When I've watched videos, but you can't really hear the popping at all in the helmet mic. I think I've got it too shielded by this foam. I need more of a, a fluff wind buffer on it rather than foam, but I just haven't got one. Not that wasn't a flight in my lens. Just did it. And it didn't hit my visor. Hopefully the top of the helmet. There's them guys that were coming the other way before. Well, there they are. There's one of them. Sometimes interesting to see the face underneath the helmet and underneath the bike choice. These uh, phases, especially the older ones, uh, like mine's 2000, 2001 era, and they had a, 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 a little bit of a reputation for being an older gentleman's bike. And people are sometimes a bit surprised when I tell them that's what I've got for my first big bike, but I like them. And I'm often surprised when we go to bike places and things, um, who you see getting off like Z, uh, Z1000s and BMW 1000s and all the rest of it. Got my shopping done, steak for tea, and some oranges for later, why not? That's terribly exciting stuff, isn't it? Interesting little thing I've just discovered after years of GoPro ownership. Uh, obviously, I know when you tip a GoPro upside down, it'll still record the right way. If you tip it like sort of completely on its head. But I just noticed some of the problems I might be having is when I put my helmet on, obviously the GoPro goes upside down quite quickly and then quickly goes back to being normal from when you tip it down, open your uh, straps and then put it on your head. And something I've just noticed was it took a while when I was just in that car park and it took a while to actually figure itself out and get its orientation. I'm just wondering if a few of these issues I've been having aren't possibly something to do with just putting the helmet on and then not giving it enough time to get itself orientated before pressing record. I'm just wondering if that might be an issue. Possibly. Worth thinking about, worth considering. Just giving it a few extra seconds um, to sort of get itself sorted out before I start a recording. Food for thought anyway, food for thought. Do you hate that when you go into a shop and then there's like a song that you don't even like but it just sticks in your head whether it's just catchy or what but it just seems to stick right in your head. The more I'm riding this bike the more I'm loving it. That can only be a good thing. At first I was really unsure but I mean I've done probably about a thousand miles on it now. What have we done? 35,188, I bought it, it was on 34,200 or something like that, so yeah, it's, it's close, as new as makes no difference to a thousand miles on it now. Excuse me sir, can you tell me why you were speeding? Yes officer, I was just checking that my uh, GoPro would stay attached to my helmet. Could you tell me if it did? Right, we are nearly home, so as usual, I will end this one here. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like it. You can also subscribe for more up and coming content on this bike. And we will see you on the next one. But not before a quick rev ball under the bridge. There you go.